And as if the tension between Washington and Moscow isn't high enough, today Russia notified the U.S. that it's begun its annual nuclear drills that include the launch of missiles. And this comes as NATO is conducting its own military drills. Tonight, CBS's Chris Livesay reports exclusively from on board a U.S. aircraft carrier taking part in those drills in the Mediterranean Sea. A heart-thumping show of force. Aboard one of the world's biggest warships, the USS H.W. Bush. We fly at dawn from the southern coast of Italy to join the aircraft carrier and more than 80 Allied aircraft in international waters for NATO training. All set against the backdrop of Russia's war in Ukraine and Vladimir Putin's repeated threats to fire nuclear weapons. The Secretary General of NATO has come aboard with a warning. There will be severe consequences. Um, it will be absolutely wrong if I went into the exact way we will react, but Russia knows that there will be severe consequences. For now, NATO says its best weapon is deterrence. With an overwhelming display of firepower, from fighter jets and helicopters to unparalleled surveillance, all within striking distance of the Russian military, with tensions in the region at a fever pitch. This may only be combat training, but if called upon, these fighters say they're ready to strike. You're the Secretary General of NATO aboard a U.S. aircraft carrier. Are you poking the bear? It's even more important that we send a clear message that uh, we are there to defend uh, all allies because that's the best way to prevent an attack and preserve peace. Now, today's drills were planned before the invasion. And tonight, President Biden is once again warning Vladimir Putin not to use a tactical nuclear weapon in Ukraine, saying it would be an incredibly serious mistake. Nora. Chris Livesay, thank you.